Sometimes when you're working with your sources in Zotero, it is helpful to see how your citation might look when it is actually rendered and formatted in the Chicago format, or MLA, or APA, or whatever. And fortunately, there's a very easy way to do that in Zotero. So let me show you how to do it. So I have a window open in Firefox, and I'll just click on the Z to open up Zotero. I'm going to keep it on the half-screen view. And then I'm going to go up to the address bar, and I'm going to enter the following address. It's chrome colon slash slash Zotero slash content slash tools slash CSLpreview.xul. It's just that simple. I'll have the text in the description of this video, so you can just copy and paste it. Anyways, once I have that there, I'm going to click Enter, and it's going to ask me to select one or more item in my library to do the preview. So what I'll do is I'll make sure I have an item selected. I'll select Latin American Popular Cultural Sense Independence. And from there, I will choose my citation format. I'll do author date, and I'll make sure the language is in English. And you can see that Zotero generates a citation, both an in-text citation and then also the full bibliographic entry for this item in several different formats. Here we have APA, and if I scroll down, we of course have Chicago, my dear Dear to my heart, Chicago. I'm going to move the window just so we can only see that. I don't want to distract you. So here is how the entry would look in Chicago author date format. However, now that I'm looking at this citation, I see a few issues. First, I see that it says second edition all spelled out, when Chicago actually prefers to have the number there. So what I'll do is I'll go down to edition, and I will delete second edition and just put in a 2. And then I will click on Refresh. And you can see that the citation has updated. And you know what? I noticed another little error here. Here it has Lanhand, Maryland. But it should actually be capital M, capital D. So I'll put that there. And then I'll click Refresh. And there we go. So there's my perfect citation. And that's how you can do live previews of the things you're working on in Zotero. Thanks for watching my video. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next Zotero quick tip. That would just be awful. You would never forgive yourself. Feel free to leave your comments and questions below. If you have ideas for future videos, I would love to hear them. You can follow me on Twitter, at Dr. Nerdies. And of course, check out my other videos. There's a lot more here on Zotero, on note-taking, on writing in plain text. So enjoy.